Hey guys, Cinder Ash here, and I got requested by a bunch of people that have been running back nines with to do more or less a maze video and kind of try to teach people how to do the mazes. So that's what I'm going to do. In the following video, we're going to go in order. I'm going to explain the rules of the mazes, the different types of mazes. I'll guide you through a couple of the tier 3 mazes for the back nine. And then I'm also got some recorded ones that I'm going to allow you guys to try and go through yourself and to try and figure out what's the actual way that you're supposed to go. Kind of like a uh, pick your own adventure kind of thing. Just to help you understand why you go certain ways when you do and just everything else like that. So let's get started. So first up, we're going to start with the rules of the back nine mazes. If you see branches in front of you when you see the maze, you always want to go left and walk around it like it's a left bracket. If you don't know what a left bracket is, it's on your keyboard, it's right next to the P. You basically want to go a little bit forward, left, turn right, go straight, make another right, and then on your left hand side will be the entrance to either the next maze or it will be the entrance to fight the cogs. The second maze type is going to be a right bracket, which means when you see no branches on the maze. You want to head right, take a left, follow the corridor all the way down, take another left, and then on your right hand side you should see another maze or cogs. The next one we're going to talk about is going to be the center maze. The center maze you'll know as the center by looking at it and you'll see a path left, a path right, You'll be able to walk a little bit forward and see another path left and another path right. With that, what you want to do is head right, put your right hand along the wall, follow that all the way up, turn a slight left, keep your right hand on the wall and take the first right path. Continuing with your right hand on the wall, you want to keep following that around and off to your right and a little bit to your left, you should see the next maze or you should see the cogs. And then the last one is the reverse. The reverse is just like the one we talked about. It's the center maze, but you're going backwards this time. So instead of putting your right hand on the maze wall, we're going to put your left hand on it. So we're going to follow that a little bit snake curve around, keeping our left hand on the wall. We turn left. We go all the way down until we can't go any further, take an immediate right, keep the left hand on the wall, keep going straight. Once you get to the end of that corridor, you take a small right, and then an immediate left, and then out, and then you should see either the cogs or your next maze. Some other additional rules for the maze that you should always keep in mind is if it is a single or a double maze. You always are going to be looking at the maze as if it's a forward entity. Meaning that your goal is forward, meaning way behind the maze. So whichever operations you have to do to get to the back portion is what you need to accomplish. You'll know that you're going in the right direction because you should see in the distance either two balls or two cones. That's basically a castle and that's where the cogs are. This gets a little tricky in some of the tier 3 mazes because you have to kind of break the rules a little bit by learning how the mazes work and why they don't function as they should and make a little bit of a confusing scenario. If you wanted to, you could think of some of these mazes as sort of a square, but towards the top it's kind of like a little thimble. And that thimble blocks you from going around the entire outside of the maze. But for the most part, you can go around the outside for a lot of the mazes that you need to go through. So here we are starting with our first guided maze. We are starting off with following on the left-hand path, keeping our hand on the left-hand side, and just moving down the corridors until we reach the next maze. You want to proceed forward 
but note that the castle is always in the top left hand corner. So going forward in that maze does not help us. Instead, we want to go around the outside to the left to reach our next maze section. This is again the same maze that we just did before that other one, where we're following with the left hand side to get out to where we need to go. Now that we've hit a dead end, we need to find where the castle is again, and we can see that it's off to our right. So we go off to the right, following the outside, and then boom, right there's our left and there's the cogs. We're going again with the same maze pattern. We're following a left hand side, pulling down into another left, but unfortunately we can't progress forward on this one. So we have to follow this backwards. We have to go around the outside to the left so that way we can come across our next maze. This has no branches, so we follow the no branches rule and follow it to the right. So that way we can hit the next maze that's on the right. Going left leads to a dead end. There is the branches rule yet again, and we know the castle's in front of us, so we know that going left will lead us directly into the castle to fight the cogs. Now, for these next ones, I want you guys to more or less try and guess where we're going and understand why we're going the path that we're going. Think about the rules, think about the way that everything works, and know that these go pretty quick. They're pretty self-explanatory. If you need to at any time, pause the video and think about why did Ash go this way? Why would I need to go this way? And try to fully comprehend that these aren't very difficult, but they do have times where you break the rules. Like right now, where normally in a center maze you want to go forward through it, but because our castle's on the right hand side, you just go around the right hand side to get to the cogs. And that is all that it is for the mazes. They're really simple. They will take a little bit of time to get used to. I will admit that when I started back nines, it wasn't until I became a cheese level 20 that I was able to actually fully understand all the mazes. And I'm hoping this video helps counteract that so you don't have to go through the suffering that I did. Now, if you are still having issues or if you didn't find the video as helpful, I'm going to tell you that down below in the box, in the description, there's a link to my Discord. If you are still having issues and you would like to have me physically teach you in person by taking you through a back nine, getting into a call with you and explaining the rules, and then having me basically backseat you as you go through the mazes so that way you can understand them, that is something that I will offer up to anybody who needs it. Other than that, please look forward to more tutorials, as I'm going to call them. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. So if you have any suggestions what you'd like to see for the next tutorial, also leave those down below in the comments. Bye guys.